Once you've finished configuring your data, setting up views, tables, relationships, actions, and automations in the data section, we can move to the design section. This is where we start to create the user experience for our application. BuddyBase helps us to build single page applications where we help our users turn their data into action. These applications are split into screens, each defined by a URL that we're able to navigate between. Each screen is made of various components. And when you first arrive in the design section, you have a few options for how you might start off building your first screen. You can start with a blank screen, which will be blank. You can start with a table screen. Now table screen will look at any tables that you have defined in your data and build a table from that. So if we wanted to create a table for our appointments, we then get to choose how we want to manage our rows in line so that we can just treat it like a normal spreadsheet. Side panel where we'll slide out and have a form that our users can fill in. A modal where it sits on top of the content and we're able to edit it through a form there as well. Or a new screen. If someone wants to update their row, we'd move them to a new screen. I'll select side panel for now and click done. All of our screens have drag and drop capability now. This is the desktop view and I can see that I've got the create row button here. I might want to move it down there, maybe have them below there. I've got control over how I lay this out. Maybe on a mobile device, I want that to have more room and maybe sit in the middle of the page. And maybe this too, I want to have it sit sitting in the middle. So I can use drag and drop to be able to interact with this. Change the title to capital A for appointments. If I preview this application, I can see that if I click on a row, I get that side panel that has the details that allows me to be able to edit the date, the reason, and the pet that was involved. Equally, if I create new row here, I can create a new appointment for any pets that exist in my database. All of the components that make up my screen are down the left-hand side. I can click on any component on the left, and on the right, I've got settings, styles, and conditions, which we'll look at a bit more in future videos. I can add new components either by clicking a plus here, which brings up this menu, showing all the components that are currently available inside of BuddyBase. These are the plugins that the BuddyBase team have provided. Everything from cards and embeds to forms and charts. But we also have the library of plugins that can expand these components. If I want a second screen, I can click the plus. As well as tables, I also have forms. Again, I can select one of my data sources to be the source for that table. I can say whether or not I want my form to create a new row, update an existing row, or view an existing one. Let's have it for creating a new row and click done. And now I have a form to be able to create uh, my new pet. So I can say, instead of create row, I can say add pet. I'll update. I could equally change these to how, instead of lowercase n, I could go through and change these all to, to look uppercase n, which change what they look like on the front end without updating my database fields. So this is what our user is able to see. You can adapt these starter screens to your use cases or use them as ideas as you start from a completely blank screen. Um, I'll call it shop. You could add a table and the table date might be linked to my uh, owners instead. So I've got the owners and their pets. Let's see what this looks like on desktop. That looks pretty good. You can see what rows are available. Like in preview mode, I can interact with any of the screens that I've created. I can view the application at a specific user level, which will be important. I also have access to these dev tools, which are great for testing various components. If I click into components, I can choose a component, say this table, and I can see what data is being used for, for this particular table. Any of these values can be copied by clicking on them. If I click into a screen, and click on the screen at the top of the component list, I can set the access level, which says that only someone with that particular access level can view the screen. 
So for example, if I set this adding a pet screen to be admin and preview my application, adding a pet as myself, I can see fine. But if I try to view it as a basic user, try to click in to create pets, it won't let me load up that screen. So it leaves me on a screen that I am allowed to see. When I try to click into a screen that's not in my access level, then it's going to stop that from happening. In this section, we can also decide which screen is going to be our home screen. So the appointments table, I'm going to set as the home screen. So even though it's ordered differently here, as soon as I preview, that's the screen I'm always going to land on. There's no cap to the number of screens that you can add to your BuddyBase application. As you think of new ways that you can help your colleagues be more productive on the shop floor or in the office, you can add screens and display and capture data in ways that make sense for your workflows. Coupled with the capturing and the display, we can trigger workflows in the back end, have automations for when particular things happen inside of our applications, and summarize our data in charts and tables. When you've built multiple screens, you want some way to be able to navigate between them. Now along the top here, we have a navigation bar, which we can access from any of the screens looking at navigation. These links are automatically generated when we create new screens. We can remove them. We can add new ones if we'd rather, and we can edit them to say what where they should point to and which access level should be able to get them. We can also decide whether or not we want the navigation to appear on a particular page. Sometimes for a data capture form, you might want that form to be the only thing that users see and not be distracted by other things that are going on. By default on larger screens, it spreads across. On smaller screens or on screens where things are, are a bit zoomed in, we get this sort of burger menu where things pop out. And pop. Each screen has its own URL, which is set when we create the screen, but we can change that and we can change what the navigation points to. This could also be dynamic. So if we wanted to include an ID or something else in the URL that then could be used for lookups, we'd be able to manage that as well. These links don't just have to point to screens inside of BunnyBase. You can absolutely have them point to some external website so that they, so that those links are in one meaningful place for someone to be able to, to view. So now clicking on shop, confusingly in this case, takes me to the BuddyBase doc. And the other option we have is to open sublinks. So if there was, if you wanted to group together, um, maybe, so we have maybe buddy base links, buddy base links, and we maybe would have the doc, the main site, and the documentation. So now we got we get this nested menu system inside of our navigation. Create screens, join them together create a really smooth and compelling user experience to help your users to be more productive as you turn your data into action. In future videos, we'll dive into more of those components and think more deeply about how to create appealing and accessible applications that allow our users to get the most from our data.